रवि भाई अनंत भाई कैसे हो बिल्कुल बढ़िया भाई केरला पे बात करने वाले हैं मैं देख रहा हूँ कि भारत में कुछ और ही चल रहा है अग्निपथ स्कीम पे राइट्स हो रहे हैं उससे पहले नुपुर शर्मा कंट्रोवर्सी पे बहुत कुछ हुआ देश में बट वेरी सरप्राइजिंगली केरला में आ, कुछ और ही चल रहा है वहाँ पे गोल्ड स्कैम के ऊपर कुछ कंट्रोवर्सी है इट्स तो ये केरला में एकदम मेन स्ट्रीम से अलग क्यों चलता है हर चीज़ जबकि डेमोग्राफिकली अगर देखा जाए तो नुपुर शर्मा कंट्रोवर्सी में वहाँ पे एक्सपेक्टेड था कि काफ़ी कुछ होगा बट ये इतना मेन स्ट्रीम से अलग क्यों वहाँ पे कंट्रोवर्सी चलती है ये गोल्ड स्कैम क्या है इन 2020 ट्वेंटी ड्यूरिंग कोविड जस्ट आफ्टर द व्हाट वी से फर्स्ट वेव ऑफ कोविड राइट सो व्हाट हैपन इज दैट बेसिकली देर वॉज अ टिप दैट वॉज गिवन टू द कस्टम्स दैट डिप्लोमेटिक बैगेज में गोल्ड स्मगल कर रहा है so as a result of which the customs uh, wanted to intercept this gold wanted to check the diplomatic baggage now the, I, there's a lot of procedure involved because you know you can check diplomatic baggage without the authorization of the uh, consulate so as a result of which uh, you know the customs obviously went through the try to went go through the procedure mm. uh, but what happened was that they got a warning from the chief minister's office allegedly okay. saying that you shown your you know this is diplomatic baggage do not check it etc uh, etc et so a few days later they finally got to checking this uh, baggage and it was found out that this was gold and from that from there this whole thing unraveled now the allegations center around two major people one is a person called sopna suresh she is a former uh, former official in the uae consulate mm. and she is also she was also before she was fired somebody who was working with the state it department as a consultant now she was very close to this uh, a person called r shivashankar who is uh, ias officer very senior ias officer and he was with the principal secretary the to the chief minister of kerala now he, he both he and sopna suresh were basically the uh, what do you say the conspirators in this issue mm. of smuggling gold and both of them were arrested right now shivashankar is known to be very close to the chief minister he was hand picked by the chief minister uh, panrai vijayan when he came into office so obviously his arrest his the allegations against him the allegations against sopna suresh all created a political controversy way back in 2020 now along with this issue there's a connected tangent here about uh, another f- uh, favorite of panrai called uh, jilil he's a mla from malappuram an independent mla from malappuram and it is jilil is actually a ex semi member yeah so, ex semi member ex muslim league he's a he, he's to understand panarai actually you should study jalil but anyway jalil was also involved or in to this. understand the present kerala yeah. uh, political scenario you should understand jalil because mm. uh, you know that semi is a band band, orga- band yeah. organization was student islamic Islam. movement of india it yeah. was a, it's a band organization wo to ek terrorist organization tha matlab bilkul to wo to band hua hai uska ek member tha jalil kt jalil अच्छा एंड के टी जलील उसके बाद तो केरला मुस्लिम लीग गया था लीग में था hmm. उसके बाद वो पूरा एकदम कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी में आ गया hmm. अभी के टी जलील जो के टी जलील इन द लास्ट गवर्नमेंट वॉज द वॉइस ऑफ माइनॉरिटी ऑफ आई एस मीन ही वॉज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ माइनॉरिटी ऑफ आई एस and minister of higher education as well and minister of higher education wow. i mean that is also a very important thing in kerala kerala mein if you look at the history usually i mean apart from this year this time this pinarayi ministry usually it uh, it goes to the minority affairs as well as the education ministry usually we have we, there is a long history of both being abhi to pinarayi uh, he a uh, minority affairs minister hai ha yeah अभी तो पिनराई माइनॉरिटी ऑफ मिनिस्टर ये कैसे हुआ ये कि मतलब वेरी रेयर कि जब ऐसा होता है सो देयर वाज अ दैट दैट गोस इनटू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ द पॉलिटिक्स बिहाइंड द 21 इलेक्शंस बिकॉज़ देयर वाज अ विजिबल डिवाइड बिटवीन द मुस्लिम एंड क्रिश्चियन कम्युनिटी एंड द क्रिश्चियन पर्टिकुलरली द कैथोलिक चर्च दे वर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ ऑल द माइनॉरिटी वाला स्कीम्स आर गोइंग टू मुस्लिम्स ओनली एंड ऑलवेज ऑलवेज द माइनॉरिटीज मिनिस्टर यूज्ड टू बी अ मुस्लिम so so because he didn't want to appoint a muslim and he didn't want to appoint a christian because he didn't want to anger the muslims 
he made himself the minorities minister acha <laughs> uh, so i mean that is they playing a very good balancing game when you come into politics but if i can just complete about the goals camp yeah so obviously this issue was then referred to the uh, what do you say home ministry hmm. uh, actually the chief minister sent a letter asking for uh, investigation of central agencies Hmm. as a result of which or you can say they always knew that mha knew that this was going to happen mha decided to order an nia investigation now parallelly there are three investigations happening there's an nia investigation there's an enforcement directorate investigation and then there's a customs investigation hmm. so when these allegations took root when hmm. these allegations took root hmm. and it became a huge issue hmm. uh Uh, when these allegations took root and it became a huge issue especially running into the 2021 assembly elections and there are 2020 local body polls mm. what the cpm decided decided to do is to uh, announce a judicial investigation against the central investigation Achoo. so they have decided to announce a judicial investigation to investigate how the investigation of the central agencies are going okay so they basically try were on the back foot until the 2020 local body election results came after which you can see that the case also died down even though they tried to raise it during the 2020 assembly polls panarai was not touched you know there's some teflon on him mm. i still think there's teflon on him we might come to come into that later but basically he is untouched by the issue even now i would say even despite the allegations now he is still untouched so anyway coming to the timeline uh, after no, that isme bich mein ek cheez bolna chahta hu ki इसने अभी बोला आनंद ने अभी बोला कि जो एक इन्वेस्टिगे एजेंसी का बारे में इन्वेस्टिगेट करने के लिए दूसरा एक इन्वेस्टिगे एजेंसी मतलब दुनिया में किसी भी जगह पे देखेगा नहीं hmm. सिर्फ और सिर्फ केरला में hmm. अभी भी एक चीज़ चल रही है मैं एक बता बताऊंगा एक एक एक, एक सेकंड के लिए मतलब डाइवर्शन फ्रॉम ही अभी क्या हो रहा है अभी जो ये स्वप्ना सुरेश है द एलिस्ट पर्सन इन दिस नॉट दॉन्सपरेटर so sapna suresh right now came out gave a 160 statement 164 164 statement i am not the lawyer here 164 yeah. basically a confession it's Achha. a confession statement given to the magistrate. magistrate so she gave a 164 statement came back came out of the jo court ka bahar aake media ko jo bola ki maine ye ye bola hai hmm. seedha jaake hamara kt jalil hai seedha jaake ek case dal diya uh, inciting violence bolke ek case dal diya inciting riots inciting riots so matlab it's sapna not... suresh ke khilaf yeah. matlab sapna suresh ke khilaf inciting riot matlab usne jo bola hai matlab wo riot inciting wala kuch bhi nahi hai hmm. sir fir bhi case dal diya isme jo kerala ka matlab abhi jo ajeeb kahi bhi duniya mein ek kuch nahi chalega kerala mein chalega main bataunga kya hmm. ek adgp one adgp two sps and a lot of senior police officials bhai matlab केरला का स्टेट का सबसे ऊपर वाला 10-12 पुलिस ऑफिसर को लेके एक इन्वेस्टिगेटिव टीम बनाया hmm. सिर्फ सपना सुरेश का एक एलिगेशन के लिए उसका ऊपर इन्वेस्टिगेट करने के लिए hmm. मतलब ये जो केस है मतलब उसका इनसाइटिंग वायलेंस 153 ए नो नो दैट्स नॉट दैट्स नॉट द केस 153 इनसाइटिंग राइट्स इनसाइटिंग राइट 153 लॉयर तो ये है hmm. 153 सी दिस केस विल नॉट इवन स्टैंड इन द वरांडा ऑफ द कोर्ट भाई मतलब कोर्ट का अंदर तुम छोड़ दो मतलब वरांदा पे भी मतलब कोई ये केस लेके नहीं गई इस केस को इन्वेस्टिगेट करने के लिए इतना टॉप टॉप ब्रास ऑफिसर्स का एक कमीशन बनाया तभी तो बनाया है मतलब कुछ तो निकाले कुछ मतलब वही तो मैं बोल रहा हूँ मतलब कम्प्लीटली एक इन्वेस्टिगेटिव एजेंसी सेंट्रल इन्वेस्टिगेटिव एजेंसी को इन्वेस्टिगेट करने के लिए अगर उन लोग मतलब तो इन, इनको लग रहा है कि ये जो सपना सुरेश ने जो स्टेटमेंट दिया है जो इतने सारे पूरी गवर्नमेंट की मशीनरी इनके पीछे लग गई है उसका एक कारण तो यही हो सकता है ना कि वो कहीं ना कहीं पिनारा ये विजय इनको इम्प्लीकेट ना कर दे कि no, उसको he, उसका नाम ना ले उसका नाम ले दिया उन्होंने ले लिया मतलब ले लिया मतलब नहीं है वो जो बोला है बहुत खतरनाक बात बोला है क्या वो बोला है कि पिनाराई विजय हिमसेल्फ एज अ पर्सन हिमसेल्फ is taking gold like transferring gold whenever he goes abroad acha wo khud gold leke aa raha hai gold leke aa raha hai gold leke aa raha hai aur currency leke ja raha hai acha khud ka bag mein acha wohi bola hai wo bhi comedy part part ye hai wo kaise gold leke aa raha hai jo biryani ka biryani banane ke liye bahut bada bartan hota hai na ha upar biryani niche gold acha bani banayi biryani pura 
ऊपर बिरयानी नीचे गोल्ड ऐसे लेके आ रहे हैं वही तो है वो वही तो बोल रहे स्केम I I don't we don't, we shouldn't get into the political ramifications of that you know why it has happened why it hasn't because I think that'll become going to completely different tangent. Hmm. But this lady comes out a couple of weeks back says I'm going to go give my 164 statement goes and gives this 164 statement and unleashes this political storm. Now she implicate he she her statement according to what she's given to the media implicates not only uh, the chief minister himself Panrai Vijay himself but also his wife his daughter. and another ias officer called nalini netto hmm. and uh, obviously kt zeli so then uh, as a result of this issue uh, there were a lot this 120 b basically hmm. the he as he said as revi mentioned kt zeli goes to the police next day and files this completely absurd completely nonsensical i mean even a even a kid who understands uh, 153 can tell you that this has no grounds whatsoever but goes and files this uh, sta- uh, fir come mm. private complaint mm. and the police accepts it mm. uh, and i don't i mean the lot of commentators have already said but i, I mean how a, the police officer must be super super stupid or dumb to have actually accepted this complaint because it is that is absurd the allegation is that by confessing this and by making public this 164 statement sapna suresh and another politician called pc george are provoking riots in the st- in the state mm. think about it a confession that the chief minister is implicated in gold smuggling is supposed to provoke riots that mm. is the allegation so completely absurd completely nonsensical sort of uh, <laughs> allegation has been made and then on the basis of this they as he said you know they are trying to go after sapna suresh now what sapna suresh has done very Uh, tactically strategically brilliantly is that she's recorded all the threat conversations she, she's gotten i think there's a one hour long or one and a half hour long voice recording mm. of the calls that she's received from various people connected to the chief minister or connected to her, his court, his group of people threatening her you know asking her to withdraw the statement trying to implicate the bjp as being the <laughs> primary coercer in this issue etc mm. etc et so i mean there's no doubt in my mind that you know the entire state mission is going to go after for this 164 wala statement and i i don't think this is going to end up anywhere i don't think other than possibly the chief minister being questioned at some point by the one of the three investigating agencies i don't think it's going to end up anywhere aryan bhai matlab cheez to alag chal rahi hai udhar hmm yeah मतलब अभी गवर्नमेंट ने मतलब पुलिस ने एक चीज़ किया है कि अगर आप काला ड्रेस पहन के yeah. बाहर गया तो आपको थप्पड़ मिलेगा पुलिस से का, का, मतलब कॉमेडी नहीं है आप सर्च कर सकते हैं काला ड्रेस पहन के बाहर गया तो थप्पड़ मिलेगा क्यों मतलब पिनरा विजन डज नॉट लाइक ब्लैक वॉट बिकॉज ही थिंग्स आई मीन कोई भी काला पहन के बाहर जा रहा है उसका मतलब ऑपोजिट मतलब ही इज जिस प्रोटेस्टिंग अगेंस्ट हिम Yeah, Achha. and he he cannot tolerate protest. tolerate protest like he zero t- tolerance to protest. So kala dress pehen ke tum bahar ja rahe ho to maar pit milega police se. Matlab bilkul tum kala dress pehen ke scooty mein ja rahe ho police dekha pakadega tumhe. Kala dress or seriously kuchin, seriously. Yeah. Matlab ye to ho raha hai. No Matlab no no. Ye... Just black dress. If you wear a black in the one of the event, first event public event after these allegations came out in court time, they banned black black masks. You Ma- not? Yes. You cannot wear a kala mask so, and go to the event. So the problem is there was a journalist. जो जर्नलिस्ट गए मतलब हमको क्या सोचते हैं मतलब एक मास्क पहन मतलब पहन के जाते हैं मतलब कौन कौन सा कलर हम सोचते हैं क्या मैं मास्क का तो एक काला मास्क पहन के गया पुलिस ने पकड़ा कि बोला कि अगर चीफ चीफ मिनिस्टर का चीफ मिनिस्टर का इवेंट में जाना है तो सफेद मास्क पहन के जाओ ब्लैक पैक मास्क पहनना है लाल मास पहन लो पीला मास पहन लो नीला मास पहन लो ब्लैक क्यों पहना है तुम्हें ये क्या कॉमेडी है यार एंड देन द एलडीएफ कन्वीनर ईपी जेराजन ही इज अ वेरी सीनियर ऑफिशियल ऑफ द सीपीएम ही कम्स टू द मीडिया द नेक्स्ट डे एंड सेस व्हाई डू यू नीड टू वेयर ब्लैक व्हाई इज व्हाई आर यू इंसिस्टिंग ऑन वेयरिंग ब्लैक एंड इन आई मीन हाउ अब्सर्ड इट इज 
to ban black and then ask why why do you want to insist on wearing black that's <laughs> very ab jo aap jo suna hoga ki king jong un ko ek ki taraf ka हेयर स्टाइल पसंद है ऐसा ही है मतलब थोड़ा एक मतलब थोड़ा और टाइम दे दो भगवान का कृपा से पिनाई विजन को थोड़ा और टाइम दे दो एक नॉन वैसा ही हो जाएगा मतलब वो कल बोलेगा कि मतलब ऐसा हम हेयर स्टाइल नहीं कर सकते एक ही तरह तरीका से हेयर स्टाइल कर सकते उसी कैसे कर लो ये तो बोल जाएगा ये जो सारी आप बात बता रहे हो ये नेशनल मेन स्ट्रीम में कभी भी हाईलाइट नहीं होती कभी भी हाईलाइट नहीं होते दैट इज व्हाट तो इसका क्या कारण है क्या सीपीएम जो है इतनी पावरफुल है कितनी पावरफुल है वो या पिनराई इतना पावरफुल है सीपीएम इतनी पावरफुल है पिनराई इतना पावरफुल वो सब तो चीज ही नहीं है एक ही चीज है कि बड़ा चीज कुछ बड़ा बड़ा चीज बाहर जो होता होता रहता है केरला का बाहर जो केरला के लोग का लोगों को केरला का अंदर का ही चीज पता है तो अंदर का ही चीज चलता है केरला का अंदर कुछ और चीज चलता है हमेशा हमेशा कुछ और चीज चलता है बाहर कुछ और चीज चलता है तो अभी मैं बताऊंगा कि 2019 इलेक्शन में बहुत शानदार एग्जांपल होगा मेरे को लग रहा है 2019 इलेक्शन में सब सब जगह पे हमको लग रहा है कि मोदी जी वापस आ रहे हैं नरेंद्र मोदी इज गोइंग टू बी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अगेन इन टू केरला में क्या चलता था केरला में इतना मतलब केरला में अगर अगर गया तो तुम्हें भी पता चलेगा कि राहुल गांधी प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनने वाला है मैं कॉमन इन बात कर रहा हूँ सब सब लोग ऐसा बोल रहा है कि राहुल गांधी प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनने वाला है सब सब ऐसे सोच रहे हैं इसलिए बीस में नाइनटीन सीट्स राहुल गांधी को दे दिया बीस सीट है टोटल नाइनटीन सीट्स वन बाय कांग्रेस व्हाई जस्ट बिकॉज दे थॉट दैट राहुल गांधी इज गोइंग टू बी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया मतलब ऐसे चलता है मतलब टैंजन अलग है उधर वैसे राहुल गांधी ने ये स्मार्टली प्ले किया कि वो केरला से कॉन्टेस्ट किया उसको पता था कि वहाँ पे कुछ और ही अलग हवा चल रही है अच्छा मतलब हवा सही पकड़ा हाँ. <laughs> केरला कम से कम एक जगह तो सही पकड़ा इवन देन आई मीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी यू लुक एट दाइकल लाइक एवरी फाइव ईयर्स सिंस एटी टू वी बिन एलेक्टिंग एल डी एफ यू डी एफ राइट ट्वेंटी वन वॉज सपोज टू यू डी एफ टाइम but they botched it royally botched it hmm. and that is due to one man not just rahul gandhi but kc venugopal in my opinion he botched it hmm. he his outsized influence in delhi has botched congress's operations in multiple states we you know obviously you know, that's been a topic of conversation but particularly in kerala hmm. he's botched it to ye jo cpm ka how powerful is it this this party dekho क्या बोलेगा मतलब चाइनीज मॉडल बोलेगा क्या यूएसएसआर मॉडल बोलेगा क्या क्यूबन मॉडल बोलेगा या नॉर्थ कोरियन मॉडल बोलेगा यूएसएसआर मतलब सीपीआईएम इन केरला बहुत उन लोग से बहुत प्रभावित है प्रभावित है तो आप आप देखो कि अगर आपका घर में एक शादी हो रहे तो अगर आपका घर में एक कोई मर गया तो ठीक है तो उसी टाइम में एक सी का आदमी पूरा काम करने के लिए उधर रहेगा अच्छा फ्री में फ्री में रहेगा अगर फ्री में अगर आपका पास पैसा नहीं है तो पैसा देने के लिए भी उन लोग रहेगा उधर अच्छा स्टेट मशीनरी नोस एवरी वन वॉट एवर इज हैपनिंग इन ईच एंड एवरी नो कन कॉर्नर तो आप बोलता था कि देर वॉज सीक्रेट पॉलिस इन यू एस एस आर तो सी पी आई एम इवन हैज पेड सैलरीड पर्सनल इन ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल वार्ड पंचायत का सबसे छोटा रूप होता है वार्ड ठीक है एक म्यूनसिपल का म्यूनसिपल मतलब पंचायत म्यूनसिपल का वार्ड होता है कि 200 घर होगा एक वार्ड में एक घर ये 200 घर के लिए एक सैलरीड पर्सन रहता है सीपीएम से सब देखने के लिए क्या देखने के लिए यही सब क्या हो रहा है मतलब आपका घर में आपका और आपका भाई का बीच में एक लड़ाई हो रहा है वो भी पार्टी को पता चलेगा बट वो क्यों जानना चाहते हैं सब कंट्रोल के लिए सब कंट्रोल के लिए इंफॉर्मेशन इस पावर तो इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ये अभी हुआ है या बहुत मतलब बहुत पहले से हो, होते रहते हैं मतलब उनको सैलरी जो वर्ल्ड वाइज आपको पता होगा या नहीं होगा की एम पी और एन एम एल ए पंचायत मेंबर ऑफ सी पी आई एम यू विल हैव टू गिव हाफ योर सैलरी टू द पार्टी अगर एमपी है अगर देखो प्रधानमंत्री राज्य राष्ट्र का प्रधानमंत्री को आ, मेरे हिसाब से 1.5 लाख इज सैलरी इफ अ सीपीएम पर्सन इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर 75,000 ऑफ दिस 1.5 लाख रुपीस विल गो टू द पार्टी ही हैज टू गिव इट टू द पार्टी और शी हैज टू गिव इट टू द पार्टी अच्छा ऐसा है 
ये तो 50% टैक्स हो गया टैक्स नहीं मतलब पार्टी पार्टी ने दिया पार्टी ने ले लिया द पार्टी गिव अस द डजंट मैटर फॉर द पार्टी राइट द इंडिविजुअल डजंट एग्जिस्ट एवरीथिंग इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय द पार्टी एवरीथिंग द केरला सोसाइटी आई मीन हैज हैज हैड ग्रेट इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी सो इट्स ऑलवेज सो कंट्रोल्ड आई मीन पार्टी कैन डिसाइड व्हाट टू हैपन and hmm. that is why party can party is able to decide the narrative hmm. party will decide the narrative no the de facto position of any malayali in many ways you know it's an it's a stereotype but a de facto position for many issues is the communist view point hmm. right the, the 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 party is so expansive in its all its might that it, any issue you take any issue you take it will have its view point it will have a cogent stand on any issue you take and it will be able to uh, teach every single member of its cadre what it should take what stand it should take if you talk talk to a very lower level cpm member right or even to a senior state state committee level member mm. on one issue say let's talk about venezuelan economic crisis both of them will say the same thing dekho bhai both of them will say the same quasi smart sounding things kuch bhi ho कुछ भी हो एक ही एक ही जवाब मिले एक ही दिस इज वेरी एफिशिएंट मशीनरी राइट वेरी एफिशिएंट मशीनरी वही तो मैं बोल रहा है कि यूएसएसआर में जो हो रहा है या चाइना में जो हो रहा है उसका एक एक अलग तरह का तरीके का मतलब डेमोक्रेसी का डेमोक्रेस डेमोक्रेटिक वे ऑफ कम्युनिज्म दैट इज ये जो मेरे को बहुत सा बहुत अजीब चीजें लग रही हैं ये क्योंकि अगर मतलब यहां पे कोई बोले कि ऐसा करना है या मतलब एक एक वर्ड पे एक आदमी वॉच रख रहा है तो सबसे पहले उसी को पीटेंगे जाके लोग कि मतलब तू कौन होता है कि ये सब uh, नहीं नहीं करने मतलब आपको पता नहीं चलेगा दैट इज द यू नो लाइक दैट इज व्हाई सेड सीक्रेट पॉलिस यू डोंट नो हु इट इज बट देयर एक्जिस्ट अ पर्सन बट दैट इज दैट इज द होल थिंग राइट स्पाई कर रहा है कोई ना कोई हां हां इट्स स्पाइंग आई वुडंट से इट्स स्पाइंग बट इट्स जस्ट इंफॉर्मेशन पासिंग इट्स लाइक इट्स इट्स it's a paid gossip gathering guy yeah he's hmm. not see it's not it's not a society where you know you're actively being persecuted for being having wrong thing that, hmm. that's not the state hmm. it's more of the party t- taking a notice of everything and another aspect of this party takes notice of things and they sometimes act on their own hmm. and another aspect of it is people actively approach the party for any local issue Uh, that happens in the ward or in the uh, local area if there's some local issue for example there are a group of anti anti social elements hmm. sitting outside your house hmm. right the first approach is not to the police is not to the residents association hmm. the most effective and the most efficient way to solve it hmm. is to go to the party say these people are loitering around my house uh, you know um, you know there are two only two women here hmm. we have to solve this issue party will solve it There's a parallel police. It's a parallel there's par- society. Pa- there's parallel police is there. Parallel courts are there. I mean, literally parallel courts are there. There was a famous incident of a uh, a rape case. Oh yeah, the so the rape case was uh, what is his name? Shashi. P K Shashi. P K Shashi. I think yeah. So P K Shashi is a state level leader of uh, uh, Communist Party, and he was accused of uh, rape allegation against him. uh from uh, one of the party members only like mm. one of the female party colleagues mm. of his mm. a lead so instead of going to the uh, police. police or the court yeah. she went to the party yeah now party found out that the rape was not intensive enough to the word they used was intensive tivrata mm. the ra- <laughs> the alleg- <laughs> the thing was not intensive enough to uh, classify it as rape no no to punish him oh let him go i think he is now part of the C- chief minister's office as uh, part of the chief minister's office yeah. and i mean that is what i'm Political saying secretary. and the women commission at that time on this particular issue made a statement that party will decide i mean we, we, we were like why why can't you go to the police hmm. right what she she was like no party will decide party has its own system this is the chairperson of the kerala state women's but commission saying it party will decide party, party is decide. she literally said party is the court party is the police and party will decide in public to state media she made the statement you can just just get the media i mean the statement i mean it will be malayalam but you can of course get that statement <laughs> so the state is fun <laughs> really the state i mean we both are from kerala the state is fun when you are looking from outside hmm to ye jo bataya kt jalil ka aur uska influence kitna hai pinarai ka ye abhi hua hai ya cpim mein jo islamist ka jo influence tha wo demographic change ki wajah se aaya hai 
उस पर भी बात करना जरूरी है क्योंकि जब भी, भी केरला की बात होती है गौन केस बोला जाता है इन द सेंस कि डेमोग्राफिक्स कम्प्लीटली फक्ड अप है तो उसका क्या uh, गौन केस नहीं बोल सकता है कि मतलब वी बहुत आर फ्रॉम केरला वी जस्ट वी जस्ट होप दैट आई मीन वी जस्ट वी जस्ट आई आई बिलीव फॉर सर्टन लाइक दैट इज नॉट ए गौन केस दैर इज स्टिल होप फॉर रिवाइवल ऑफ ए लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स राइट इन केरला डेमोग्राफिक्स If yeah. I may, I will just 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 yeah. take one minute, right? Demographic is for me. If I may say, in 1991, so 1901, 1901, like around 120 years ago, Kerala had 70 percent Hindus, 70 percent Hindus, 1901 census. Now Kerala has about uh, 55 55 percent Hindus. 55 is too much, I think. Around you know, 50. 55. Around 50. No, no, that 55. is a, that is another. um miss yeah. miss what what do you call undercounting overcounting no no that is people 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 from outside think that kerala is full of yeah. um, not not a hindu majority state but It kerala is. still hindu majority state they have there are 55% hindus that is a to- in got total kerala That's but ek stunning statistic maine dekha ki 2000 चार या 2001 में hmm. ऐसा कुछ ईयर था 2001 ही होगा बिकॉज सेंसस का था hmm. 2001 में देर वर 25,000 अराउंड 25,000 मुस्लिम किड्स बीइंग बोर्न एवरी ईयर मोर देन द हिंदू किड्स राइट है ना एंड नाउ दैट नंबर हैज गोन टू वन लैक ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एवरी ईयर वन लैक ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड किड्स मुस्लिम किड्स आर बींग बोर्न मोर देन द हिंदू किड्स इज दैट ट्रू every year your statement is partially right i will tell you the statement has to be like it is the net addition of uh, muslim kids hmm. i should not I, i feel weird when we say muslim kids hindu kids kids all the way but i mean this is the communist in me coming out <laughs> the right? communist in him coming out right I'm okay hardcore right wing guy yeah. but i i, 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 I am I more of a communist fellow but go on yeah so one <laughs> 125 1.25 lakh hmm. so extra more kids are being born to that community hmm. than in hindu community that means like if there are uh, 1 lakh kids born in uh, hindu community there are 2.25 lakh kids born in muslim, muslim community that is the, it's not like extra, only one point ha i'm talking about extra gap. extra gap. yeah that that gap every year every year yeah that's huge um, yeah i mean population wise it's Yeah that is a different topic altogether how to solve the demographics I mean we should I mean solving the demographics itself will be a problem I mean does this say statement can be a problem like how to solve the demographics I, I mean, don't think that can be uh, I mean the problem not here so abhi 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 to hum baat kar rahe koi issue nahi hai I mean, it's yeah. not a politically matlab jo politically current statement ko dur ka baat hai matlab wo to iski conversation mein lena hi zarurat hi nahi hai matlab jo jo cheez hota hi rehta hai udhar wo to political correctness ka matlab matlab seemaye to chhod तोड़ चुका है मेरा टूटा फूटा हिंदी चलेगा ना हाँ हाँ चलेगा दौड़ेगा 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 तो ठीक है तो या सो आई आई वाज गोइंग टू गो इनटू द योर डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन द सीपीएम इस्लामिस्ट इन्फ्लुएंस राइट सो आई थिंक सो देर वाज ऑलवेज अ ट्रेंड ऑफ लोअर क्लास मुस्लिम्स लाइक पोअर पोअर और लोअर क्लास मुस्लिम वोटिंग फॉर द सी एंड दैट इज ड्यू विथ हाउ द पार्टी हैज ऑलवेज हैड अ स्ट्रॉग स्टैंड ऑन लेबर इशूज एस्पेशली अमंग द मापला फिशरमैन Muslim fishermen of northern Kerala, mm. they've always had a strong following there, and that has to do with some leaders that they had, like Imbi Chibawa and stuff like that. Mm. But what has happened is that since they lost the two thousand one elections in a very big way, assembly elections in a very big way, and this, and they were expecting to win by a huge margin, mm. but they lost it. So this resulted in a huge rethink on how they are di- dealing with minorities. what we are seeing now of how how they are getting both muslim and a substantial amount of christian votes as well is due to that rethink that i think happened in 2001 mm. and that has also to do with uh, them actively quoting muslims especially muslim uh, gulf returnees who come from you know who have made their money in the gulf they've mm. come back to kerala uh, they've actively quoted them they've mm. actively inducted them into the party mm. and uh, i think the muslim community itself has moved away from the muslim league because it's become too mercantile they have always i mean after this 2001 incident the election result they have always showed the intent i mean communist party that is we call cpi and cpm together communist parties have had always had matlab hamesha uska matlab chehra aisa tha ki ek hindu party hai 
कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी हिंदू पार्टी है कांग्रेस पार्टी माइनोरिटी पार्टी है अच्छा ये चलता था बिकॉज वो उनका थोड़ा बेस भी क्रिश्चियन सेंट्रिक है क्रिश्चियन सेंट्रिक था या मुस्लिम सेंट्रिक था मुस्लिम लीग वॉज विद्यूज था लेकिन ये टू थाउजेंड वन का बाद में हम लोग को पता चला मतलब टू थाउजेंड मतलब ये टाइम पीरियड बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है नाइनटीन नाइन टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड फोर वाई बिकॉज देश में मतलब बीजेपी का एक माहौल हो रहा है अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी का एक सरकार है भारत में तो उसी टाइम में आर एस एस हैड ऑलवेज बीन देर राष्ट्रीय स्वयं सेवक संघ हैड ऑलवेज बीन इन केरला आई थिंक वन ऑफ द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट स्ट्रॉगेस्ट यू कैन यू कैन से स्ट्रॉट यूनिट वी विल कम टू दैट लीडर मच मच मोर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स वी कैन स्पीक अबाउट आर एस एस बट सो दैट टाइम कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी सो दिस द फैक्ट दैट मेनी हिंदूज आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स बीजेपी so that that had happened during that time 1998 1999 2000 2004 till 2004 and even after that it started happening so mm. they understood the fact that they are losing Muslim, uh, hindu votes mm. now the only way to counter is to get votes from the other side do you will you believe that the chief minister of the state mr pinarayi vijayan had shared stage with abdul nasser madani who is he abdul nasser madani as a prime accused Accu- uh, accused in the coimbatore blast accused coimbatore in the bangalore, bangalore blast. blast bangalore bomb blast accused he was uh, he's still in jail is yeah yeah he's, he's still in jail. in jail this guy had shared the stage sort of naturalizing or what you call bringing him into the mainstream bringing into the mainstream such abdul nasser madani it's a big name property he is one of those people <laughs> terrorist property he is one of those people who got super radicalized after the babri masjid demolition hmm. so actually a lot of this uh, i mean i have a p- problem with the statement that he made <laughs> radicalized after babri masjid nobody got radicalized after babri masjid they were all, all already on that way uh-huh. it is just an excuse for them yeah that's what he was saying i think i i Adding was it. i what i was trying to say is that he came into prominence after 92 right uh, and He became a proper my, terrorist after 1992. That would be the proper statement. <laughs> no, I would to make. say a lot of a lot of the political undercurrents within the Muslim community in Kerala was launched by what happened in 92, and it, it's still a huge topic of discussion for them. Anyway, mm. I was talking about CPM. Let mm. me just finish that thought. So 2001, they started this thinking, but even th- that thinking had not really taken into taken into their mind until after Achyutanand. Mm. we if you recall this has been something that's been talked about multiple times but vs sachidanandan was a very uh, strong anti islamist mm. in many ways because mm. he is the first person first mainstream political leader to point out lao jihad jo lao jihad ka tem hai tem hai hum hum sab log abhi baat karte hai lao jihad lao jihad lao jihad ka tem you technically it was coined by this mm. achidanandan cpm's chief minister at that time at least uh, brought into the mainstream mainstream इस्लामिक <laughs> 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 10 okay mm. but what has happened is panarai vision this he, was even before the islamic state existed in this yeah, planet yeah, yeah. so no, anyway no, no. Pa- islamic states have been existing no, no, since no, no, centuries no, no. isis is talking about isis isis i am saying a islamic, islamic state, state of, of iraq uh, and syria, syria. Yeah. that isis this was even before that happened this guy said that mm. this is going to be yeah so the yeah, issue so so achidanandan was a mass figure right but on the other hand panarai is a machine politician he he he's not a mass popular figure now you can you know party has been trying to popularize him as that but he's not as well regarded or well respected as achudanandan even today i think is mm. so one of the things that panarai did is to actively quote as i said these muslim nri businessmen and the party itself was reoriented themselves towards them in northern part of kerala in malabar mm. they've completely reoriented to this 
islamist vibe hmm. so they've been trying to co-opt this and as i as he's said you know the national uh, prominence of the bjp is resulting in a lot of uh, muslim disenchantment right so that they've been trying to co-opt that very effectively they've been they've co-opted that very effectively hmm. by using these muslim nri businessmen as front into the community so now you see that even hardcore islamists you know very religious muslims are willing to vote for the cpm because they've been able to actively portray themselves as a pro muslim pro islam party at the same time i don't know how much they will agree with me on this but they've been at the same time they've been very effective in trying to portray an anti islam anti muslim image to christians as well hmm. in the run up to the 21 elections they tried doing that at the same time they've continued to retain their hindu base right very 20, interesting 2021 election uh, this is from my personal experience in my locality i'm from kota kota is a christian dominated i cannot say majority it's a christian dominated district so in christian households what cpm used to do was go to uh, how ek ek ghar mein jaake bolta hai ki dekho rss ka bada problem aa raha hai agar rss aa gaya to aapko to aapko problem ho jayega Hmm. तो सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक ही पार्टी है इस पूरा स्टेट में कि आरएसएस को आरएसएस आरएसएस को जो मेडिसिन देना है वो दे सकता है व्हाट दे मीन मीन इज एब्सोल्युटली टू किल द मॉफ जो एक ही पार्टी है वो तो कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी है तो कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी का अगर तुम कांग्रेस को वोट किया तो मतलब कांग्रेस आपको पता है तो भीरू पार्टी है मतलब कुछ कर नहीं कर, कर, कर नहीं पाए मतलब hmm. फटू लोग हैं hmm. तो हमारा लोग ऐसा नहीं है फटू नहीं है तो आप हमको वोट दिया तो देखो हम ढी कर ले गए जो ऐसे वोट लेने के लिए कोशिश किया था क्रिश्चियन कम्युनिटी में क्रिश्चियन कम्युनिटी मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी में लेके सेम ही बात किया देखो हमारे साथ रहो हम ठीक करेगा पॉपुलेशन जो भी है हम देख लेगा बट फिर भी इतना बड़ा हिंदू बेस कैसे अभी भी है और मतलब मैं उस पर इसी पे बात कर लेते हैं कि जो पचपन होने के बाद भी फिफ्टी फाइव uh, होने के बाद भी वी सॉ इन बेंगोल दैट देर वॉज अज पोलराइजेशन डिस्पाइट having a larger population when I mean, if it is 55% then it would have been much larger It's polarization on that yeah. side but still that created something for the bjp to play on right but in uh, kerala it is completely non existent why bjp despite uh, shabrimala uh, k issue being so big why they, uh, were they uh, fa- why are they failing to capitalize on that बीजेपी वहां पे फेल क्यों हो रही है आरएसएस वहां पे सबसे स्ट्रॉगेस्ट यूनिट है कंट्री में देश बीजेपी वहां पे फेल नहीं हो रहा है बीजेपी का मतलब चार परसेंट वोट था अभी तो फिफ्टीन परसेंट आ गया है मतलब टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन में वी इवन रीच टोटल एनडीए में लाके एटीन परसेंट का सामने आया है एटीन परसेंट इज ह्यूज बट द प्रॉब्लम इज मतलब अब पहले जो हम बोल रहा था कि और ये बेस जो 18 परसेंट हुआ है ये किसके बेस में डेंट करके हुआ तो है कांग्रेस का मतलब कांग्रेस मोस्टली कांग्रेस सम सीपीएम सम सीपीएम कांग्रेस का मोस्टली कांग्रेस का इसलिए तो कांग्रेस पीछे पीछे गया तो कांग्रेस का जो हिंदू वोट्स है वो बीजेपी की तरफ आने में बहुत थोड़ा थोड़ा बहुत आसान है क्योंकि जो पहले जो हम हमने बोला है सी का जो कैडा स्ट्रेंथ नेटवर्क स्ट्रेंथ ऑल दिस थिंग्स जो इसके वजह से मुश्किल है कि उधर से कुछ in bulk see they have a cadder vote in every single constituency hmm. be it a panchayat constituency or a parliament constituency they have core cadder strength hmm. you won't get that less vote than what is their core core, core votes hmm. if there are 30% core votes they will get that 30% hmm. whatever they get is extra so they have that base strong cemented base hmm. and see the nar- the power of narrative is That uh, is such that तुम कुछ भी बोलो अभी जो अभी केरला में आप जाके देख लो आपको पता चलेगा कि बहुत सारा लोग होगा कि काला पहनने के लिए मतलब विरोध है बिकॉज hmm. पिनराई विजन ने बोला काला पसंद नहीं है सब लोग बोलेगा कि हमको काला नहीं चाहिए द पावर ऑफ नरेटिव इज ह्यूज दिस इज लाइक एक्सट्रीम ट्राइबलाइजेशन इन पॉलिटिक्स कि मतलब जो लीडर ने बोला है या पार्टी ने बोला है वो हम ये करेंगे और दूसरी साइड है उसका अपोजिट करेगी उसका एक कॉमेडी बात है कि केरला में जाके केरला में मतलब देखने के टाइम में हमको पता चलेगा ऐसा होता है लेकिन केरला वाला लोग बोलते हैं कि मतलब नॉर्थ इंडिया में जो लोग होता है उन लोग ऐसा है कि जो लीडर बोलेगा वो सुनेगा लेकिन केरला में ऐसा नहीं है सब चीज़ ऐसा है 
कुछ भी तुम बोलो ऐसा ही होता है केरला में केरला में ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है केरला में कास्ट नहीं है वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कास्ट सोसाइटी इन द कंट्री मोस्ट आई मीन केरला में जो बोलते हैं कास्ट ही नहीं है कास्टलेस है सोसाइटी कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी इतना साल रहा कास्ट ही नहीं है द मोस्ट कास्ट सोसाइटी इन इंडिया इज इन केरला सब कुछ कास्ट में चलता है अच्छा अगर मैं घर में जाके बोला कि मैं दूसरा कास्ट का एक लड़की को शादी करने के लिए पसंद कर रहे हैं मतलब थप्पड़ मार के बाहर सब जगह में ऐसा होता है मतलब इस, इस, इसको पूछो मतलब इसका घर में होता है नहीं होता है आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कमेंट ऑन दैट बट ही इज वेरी राइट दैट इज वेरी कास्टिस्ट एंड द तो उसका भी एक उसका एक पॉलिटिकल इंप्लीकेशन भी ये होगा ना कि देर इज नो हिंदू कंसोलिडेशन वेरी राइट या एब्सोल्युटली राइट हिंदू कंसोलिडेशन मतलब आउट ऑफ दिस टोटल द मेजर कास्ट इज नायर्स एंड ईडवास नायर्स विल कम अराउंड 14% 15% 14 okay. 15% एंड ईडवास विल कम अराउंड 20 22 बिगर थ्रेट then is radical islamism the threat of radical islamism it's unbelievable i mean they they, they just they cannot come out of their caste identity their caste first hindu second or maybe hindu third malayali second hindu third yeah most likely uh, uh, so this is there right there's obviously huge caste fault line especially in the south right uh in the north i would say there is a substantial section of iravas and nayars north kerala north kerala malabar mein because they are closer to the threat uh, no they are not close closer to the threat per se i mean it's not perceived as a threat per se it's about kerala it's not a threat i mean you think from when you see from outside people see that kerala it, it's a big problem <laughs> all these thing happening it's very peaceful i yeah, mean it's everything is a very peaceful state okay it's a very, it's a very peaceful, peaceful nothing state. happens it's just that uh, until some mopla yeah. massacre happens you know see the thing is this comes to your actual point right why is in polarization happening because there's no there's no there's no a society is very well integrated right society is very well integrated hindu muslim christians are very well integrated i mean you have to thank communist party for that and the they just somehow they make this some this adjustment and the second thing is that this sort of violence that you see that you might be seeing in bengal religious violence that you see right now it doesn't happen in that level in kerala yet it it, it the riots the violence etc doesn't happen uh, on religious lines right so and i mean uh, yet i'm again ask, i mean i he he, he will not be um, i mean uh, iska to a communist he will be very much speaking for his party <laughs> cannot call him communist per se but he is calling himself a communist <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> but yet i am i am using yeah, the yeah, word yet that, that word is very important yet anyway so what, yeah. what i was coming to uh, saying is that the caste fault lines in malabar see muslim league because it has a captive vote base hmm. and because Cong- uh, congress has a lot of nationalist votes in malabar but otherwise what happens is both <coughs> tias tias are what the irawas of the north are called i would get beaten up for the statement because tias are claiming themselves to be a different caste altogether but the tias of north kerala or the irawas of north kerala they want to they vote for the cpm right they are the strongest cpm supporters in the country hmm. the tias of north malabar of malabar hmm. but at the same time the nayars of malabar also vote for the cpm a substantial chunk of them and that has to do with a lot of them ex- in in a parallel way and nayars are the upper caste of kerala and they exert their dominance through the cpm hmm. especially in malabar and the reason that they are voting for the cpm is a because they can exert their dominance using the party mechanism and b because they perceive and i wouldn't say threat they do not want the power to go to the muslims hmm and it's com- not about threat okay don't perceive it as a threat they don't want muslim league or muslim league people muslims to get power so that is why that's you see that's a very rational when yeah. you look at that angle yeah so they vote together in the north hmm. but they don't vote together in the south and that has to do with how big the difference is between iravas and nayars in the south as well there's a lot of historical reason for that because tias generally were powerful in the north as well hmm. they had their independent source of wealth and strength hmm. so the that socio economic angle is there but as has been pointed out you know that huge caste fault line and even now the bjp most of the votes it gets are basically nayar votes hmm. 
and the its ability to penetrate especially among the tias of malabar or among the yeravas of the south is very limited so if you Unless can break until that, bjp is able to break that it will be difficult for them they tried uh, using different mechanism yeah. hmm. but cpm had uh, medicine for that also hmm. yeah so in 2016 there was an experiment known as bdj bharat dharma janasena hmm. a party made by the sndp hmm. which is the caste organization so, of the iravas in the south in hmm. the south hmm. Hmm. quite strong in the north as like quite i mean not not that that not that strong but, but in the but south they literally control iravas society iravas society so hmm. they started a party bharat dharma janasena so its head was vellapalli nadeshan they contested uh, in uh, around 30% of the total seats in mm. out of the 140 seats in 2016 mm. they lost uh, i mean they 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 put up a very good fight that is the time when bjp i mean the india got 18% votes in kerala mm. so they put up a very good fight but just after the election pinarayi vijayan put a case on top of uh, vellapalli nadeshan the head of sndp and the party was done is it that if you are going with khatam kar diya if you are going with bjp mai case dalunga it 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 it, 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 it even involved murder case yeah he revived an old murder case like from old. the 2000s hmm. and 2000s. he also filed 90s. so he during the shabrimala agitation panarai used his full whatever we seeing now against sapna suresh is nothing compared to what happened during shabrimala during shabrimala one of the things that he did is he revived a corruption case against his son tushar vallapalli hmm. who is the general secretary of bdjs as well hmm. so whatever threats that come to ang- this thing to the cpm right they ap- actively obliterate it Lif- <coughs> actively <coughs> eliminate threats to them for hmm. example k surendran the current bjp president he got a lot of he, he got a lot of public support during the shabrimal agitation hmm. at that point in the 2019 lok sabha elections when he wanted to contest the cpm had filed so many cases against him around 250 250 250 cases, cases against him three whole pages or four pages of the indian express were dedicated because you are supposed to publish the list of candidate uh, cases if you are a candidate uh, if you are a candidate two four whole pages of cases against him hmm. <laughs> in the 2019 lok sabha elections four whole pages of cases against k surendran oh. they actively persecute anybody that they perceive as a threat and they eliminate them for telling this uh, we might also get a case against us I mean, it's not common. I don't know. I might get one fifty-three <laughs> case. I am, I am provoking riots by talking about this. I think I am more pro- provoking <laughs> more violent. I mean, I might get it first because he himself claimed to be as a communist, so they will, they might give him a leeway. But ये बहुत interesting है कि शबरी माला में there were massive protests and despite that, and it was seen that Pinarayi is completely opposed to that, right? Yeah. yeah. He was suppressing the, the protesters, wow. mm-hmm. and despite that. Uh, there is significant population of hindus that is going uh, and voting for cpm again in the next election 2019 yeah and then again uh, 21 by election. the time it became 21 it died down it, yeah it died down but still 2019, 2019 may it was quite fresh it was so what happened in my opinion is that see one thing is there a huge chunk of their votes went their their whole vote share ldf ka total vote share dropped down to 35% hmm. okay and that which is just the core votes that i believe is the bare bones core votes because what happened is the significant chunk of hindus and there's no doubt about this moved to the uh, uh, congress and a significant chunk of them went to bjp as well mm. uh, and okay wh- so the the rather reason, than voting for the communist uh, or or the bjp they went with the viable uh, yeah, yeah. opposition yes 100% there's no doubt about it and also and you have to understand that rahul gandhi was the prime minister then. yeah, yeah. that Kerala. is all that factor is also there but shabrimala that was a major factor the shabrimala issue a lot of hindus because they wanted to be see the viability factor was still not there for bjp in many constituencies hmm. right so they actively went to the congress instead of uh, bjp and even now you can i you can actively see bjp people who are you know core bjp voters in many ways who will go around talking about how great the sang is still vote for the congress in the elections hmm. that is an issue but what i was coming to talk about is during the shabri after just just before the shab, they completely stop talking about shabrimala hmm. from 2019 march or 2019 february onwards because they knew they were going to get uh, destroyed in the elections hmm. so when it came to the the point hmm. in april may there was no conversation about shabrimala from the party side there was no position taken hmm. even now if you talk to them about shabrimala they don't have a position they will talk about you know whatever we try to do we try to implement this supreme court decision but that is it they won't talk about what happened they won't talk about how how much they persecuted 
systematic yeah i mean i feel like i'm getting you no know, it's very wrong for me to say but i feel like i'm getting ptsd thinking about it like it was very traumatic moment if you are a bhakta of swami ayappa hmm like that entire phase and it is at that point that i decided you know you, we can never forgive if you are a hindu i mean if you are a believing hindu and you have think about politics you cannot forgive the cpm for that ever hmm it is just it is just an attack against i mean see i i sometimes feel if you had in challenge pinarai vijayan that uh, about saying i mean agar hum challenge nahi kar kiya to usko us time pe ki hum matlab allow nahi karega women to enter he would not have taken the stance pinarai vijayan's it's his style is, style is like if you oppose him then he will do you, anything in his power if if you are telling him that you cannot do this thing he will for sure do it hmm. he will for sure do it he will make sure that he that thing happens see you can K-R-L. see that okay kerala is some other issue like same thing i mean after all this only one two ladies together entered the temple why didn't he do it after that why didn't he do after that he don't want to he just wanted to prove a point if i want to do something i will do that no matter what the consequences he even told in the public that for one or two votes i am not going to uh, compromise my ideology hmm but he ended up compromising <laughs> but that is a different issue <laughs> but in that election 2019 election he actually went and spoke you know the you know the weirdest part 2019 may they made a female candidate to contest in patanamthitta hmm very consciously they made a female candidate to contest in patanamthitta cons- parliamentary constituency which was which, which is where uh, which is the abode of uh, bhagavan ayappa hmm it's a statement and it's not an old woman a woman in his, her 40s hmm it's a statement bold statement like we don't care if you if i want to do this thing i don't care about the sentiments of the hindus here and this uh, this is at, at the same yeah. time i just want to add just before on the polling day of 2020 and assembly elections he said we have the this this government he panarai vijayan after he voted he came out and said this government this ldf government has the blessings of all the gods including ayappa he said that also okay <laughs> just just to temper what he said go yeah, on sorry i'm just i mean this is a very emotional let's let's move away from this thing it's very emotional issue i'll just yeah yeah i mean for him and i for me i mean i don't know i mean it's it's, it's yeah let's move away from shabrimala i mean it's okay that, that, that <laughs> what he said is right it's very traumatic there's it's no doubt about PTSD. it you cannot think about all the stuff that happened they banned saying swami sharanam ayappa sharanam in the s- temple not s- tem- <laughs> inside the temple you are not allowed to pray to your bhagavan you cannot call bhagavan swami e sharanam ayappa you cannot call you cannot say that is just the same, same black thing uh, it's the same problem the black i mean uh, ayappa swami's uh, devotees <laughs> wear black yes that's, that's why i was connecting it to he has it. problem with black yeah i mean he has problem with black i don't know you we talked about all this uh, the main point comes to the cultural degeneration degeneracy hmm. and the uh, especially in the him, hindu community uh, i think uh, 50 years or 100 years back that was not the case uh, now what is the reason for this you can call it wokeness or you can call it degeneration but what's what's happening even normalization of beef in uh, hindu families in popular culture it's completely you see on youtube uh there are uh, you know they are openly uh, you know slaughtering cows and uh, it's very being celebrated there even congress people mm. in 2019 i think election before the, that election they they were slot, slaughtering yeah. so yeah. yeah around that time so how how can hindu folks uh, come to this situation in kerala that is not even possibly even in uh, say nearby state or nearby district of any uh, kerala state uh, district see, in other states see about 50 years 100 years i will just reiterate a point that we i had already discussed even 100 years ago swami vegananda called kerala a madhouse hmm. he would have still done the same if he had seen it right now even so that wo chhod do wo chhod do ki 50 years pehle we were something bigger no i mean we always were the same but uh, was there so much beef no, no, normalization no, 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 no. beef all this normalization i am coming to that point dekho hmm. agar ye to education ka ek problem hai basic problem is education hmm. now if you go to a north indian kid ask about cow cow as a goddess he or she will get the image jo 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 image hota hai na bhai matlab 
गौ माता है उसका पैर पे भगवान बैठते हैं सिर पे भगवान बैठते हैं उधर पे भगवान बैठते हैं टेल पे भगवान देवी बैठते हैं वो तो एक एक इमेज है दैट सिम्बोलाइज समथिंग केरला में वो नहीं होता है आई डोंट थिंक पीपल इवन हैव सीन दैट इमेज सो हिंदू एजुकेशन द वैल्यू एजुकेशन Uh, that is not there hindus value added education is not there so they are getting all this whatever is not hindu all education they are getting but they are not getting hindu education if i'm wrong you can correct me no it's correct the religious education is the primary point right no, spiritual at home. yeah at home you're not at home taught. because your parents have never received it hmm. or your parents have neglected it because you are you are in this mindset that these things are not necessary hmm. like for example or these things are not liberal enough or uh, secular enough secular is a big word hmm. malayali is like the word secular yeah, yeah i am secular i am secular they say like, like uh, i am secular like i have to prove that i am secular how do i prove i am secular yeah. if i do not go to a uh, if i don't go to the temple mandir mein hum agar main nahi ja ke matlab agar jata to bhi agar mandir ka opposite kuch bola to my secular credence mera secular credential hai wo community mein wo thoda badh jayega hmm wo to ek what oh, eating beef is part of making yourself secular, secular. Hey, beef beef eating itna bada cheez nahi tha hmm mera 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 nani ko puchho ya grand parents grand grand parents ko puchho अगर उन लोग को लोग तो बीफ ये इतना इतना नॉर्मल नहीं था इट्स अ रीसेंट फिनोमिना सब लोग सब लोग खाते हैं सो इज इट बिकॉज दे हैव टू नो दे जस्ट दे हैव टू बी लाइक दैट सी एनी पर्सन पर्टिकुलर स्टेट नो एनी पर्सन यू डोंट हैव टू इट बीफ टू बिकम अ मलयाली बट इट हैज बिकम दैट इफ आई ईट बीफ आई विल गेट मच मोर सेकुलर क्रेडेंशियल्स and that secular word is important and on and on the same hand they will uh, they will say that uh, no 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 we should not do any anything related to pork in north balwar they will say that mm. ask him he is from north balwar they have held pork festivals let's be honest here they but, have held but they are very reluctant to do it any, and beef festivals are way more popular they have done pork festival in the uh, kochi Mm. I will tell you a food festival. A food festival was conducted by Communist Party in Kochi. They served pork, but in um, uh, Malappuram on Calicut there was no pork in the menu. Why? Mm. I mean, if Communist Party was to want to be secular, they should have pork and beef both in the, across the across the street. It was a uh, meat festival that they conducted mm. very recently, like in, in, in a year back. In Maharaja's College they served pork, but in Faru College they didn't. Uh, yeah, they didn't serve. They pork. didn't they, serve pork. They, Why? They served beef. that's there that's definitely there that's so this beef festival thing is becoming uh, yeah, a it's big a, issue it's a, it's it's the thing especially among the kids college kids to make yourself secular to if you want to show yourself out yeah to make to signal no, to, yourself to, 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 to signal yourself. yourself as something else as secular you should eat beef so becoming a degenerate uh, hindu has become a aspiration uh, kind of value yeah, it's, it's, it's not an aspiration but yeah it's a de facto de facto yeah. What what all Malayali kids aspire to do is to go to Bangalore and party. <laughs> Let's be honest. The, all, all all of us know at least a third of our classmates, a third of our college mates, are in Bangalore partying up or trying. And to I don't party. think you get beef in Bangalore. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, no, I think that buff is the buffalo buff meat. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the, this whole beefification. of kerala is very recent phenomena yeah past 20 years or 20 so. years yes and, and it has it, it has accelerated in the past uh, 10 years especially after and it's very much visible in popular culture also movies very, very, there yeah yeah movies right? i mean very famously i mean twitter and a lot of social media that video of the movie hridayam and hridayam the funny part is tagaraj agriti uh, on nagumu yeah mm-hmm. and the the even more funny part or the rather the sad part i don't know what to call it is that the two actresses two actors in the movie two actors in the scene one is the son of mohan lal who is known to be close to the son and the other is uh, daughter he, of he lose viewers just because he is close to son yeah and the other is uh, daughter, daughter of, of priyadarshan Pri- a known rss wala he's actively appeared in rss this thing and they are both in this film scene together 
where nagumo is being it's a very religious stand right it's a very uh, important uh, stand <laughs> right <laughs> and they are eating you might beef. have heard the song yeah 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 on twitter it was trending right? yeah yeah, yeah. The and song... they were eating beef we would it, it, it didn't po- become popular within kerala okay it became popular outside kerala for doing this within kerala i don't think there was any controversy other because than it's already service. very uh, yeah, it's normal. normalized and you see it in multiple movies where they make it a point to show some sort of beef related thing to show we are malayali there's this scene in a movie called varane avashimund where they talk where they where they just randomly show this scene where or do you you know where the, the main actor talks to a, ta- uh, a tambram couple and says that okay uh, you know you know do you eat beef they say no something like that and the actor makes a pointed statement to the husband when the wife leave that you know you should make her try beef or something like that and the husband says yeah yeah i'll make her eat it by telling her it's chicken this is a random scene in a movie it's not important to the plot it's not important to even in the hridayamala movie scene it's not important to the plot it's not it has nothing to anyway. it has nothing to do there's nothing to do with it but this you randomly have, have a beef. scene to promote beef beef is like degeneracy i mean beef 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 is far away from degeneracy like in kerala context i will tell you just after the sabrimala issue they made a gate in the shape of a vagina i mean no during sabrimala only yeah, right just, 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 to celebrate Arthur. menstruation i mean they had a uh, festival menstruation is something that uh, happened for human beings i mean since since the dawn of millennium when whenever there was human being it it had always been that is the i mean menstruation is the part where uh, human beings are that is the part of whole biology that yeah. is a part of reproduction that is a part of, like if the, if that is not there no animal will exist no mammal will exist mm. right but <coughs> we used to have a cert- certain set of uh, what do you call i mean you don't have to show it off i mean there are certain part of you don't have to show any, any of these things off like this is i mean Even they made a gate they made a gate they made a literal of... gate in the shape of a vagina and you walk through it <laughs> i think you can see a picture of something that's somewhere here in your screen right they made a literal gate and you made people walk through it the chief minister was supposed to appear for the event by the way but i was just supposed to appear for the event hmm. but i don't and was supposed appear. to walk through the vagina yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> okay we're definitely getting a couple of cases against ourselves i hope so Uh, so yeah i mean the degeneracy part see if you actually talk about degeneracy you said exclude other communities but i think this is a bigger problem in the christian community oh. the lack of uh, what we can say morality i think is more prevalent among christians than among the hindus hmm. and whatever is happening among the hindu community i hindus i think this beef thing is uh, is uh, a major issue among all the strata hmm. but i think the issue of you know the lack of morality when it comes to say sexual ethics or the lack of morality when it comes to certain issues i think it's more prevalent among upper middle class or wealthy hindus more mm. than low middle class i think i'm a vegetarian mm. and uh, my fa- mother's family has been vegetarian for years uh, since time immemorial i guess so uh, so the thing about beef eating especially in the south i think is a lot to do with nayas or upper caste hindus aspiring for what the elites you know there's always this element of how you imitate the elites elites right elites right mm. so am um, among the hindus of uh, south i think generally but among the hindus of south Na- nayas especially of the south there's this tendency to imitate nasranis or the christian nasranis. elites okay up- upper caste or well, upper caste christians or upper class christians of the south mm. and they eat both beef and pork okay. right and this tendency of eating beef i think is a sort of you know you imitate the elites you try to mirror what the elites do so nasranis for example they follow a lot of they follow onam for example you will see that a lot of the uh, issue around onam for example mm. a lot of christians especially if they are upper uh, upper middle class wealthy in the christians they more very likely to celebrate onam in a very grand way very mm. grand fashion mm. uh, so this sort of imitation happens in the parallel way also when nayas started eating consuming beef and pork hmm i um, pork they have consumed for centuries but they started eating beef as well it's a sort of elite imitation hmm. and that obviously percolated into society and obviously due to the rise of bjp the idea of you know gau mata hmm. you know th- that is considered a very north indian idea now hmm. like the idea of uh, cow being in any way 
important uh, sacred is very north indian and another aspect of this is that i have not grown up around a cow my mother has right where where she grew up she grew up around a cow so you have that environment of you know you know what a cow is you know what it gives you you know how important it is to, in many ways to your daily life that element of connection is there for me personally i i don't i've never consumed beef i've never tried to consume uh, any non vegetarian food but that element of connection right the element of daily connection with a element of rural life of cow i have not had it i've seen cows around i've seen cow dung but i've not had that element of connection uh, with it so as a result of which you are it, it becomes an alien image right what a cow is it becomes an alien image and you actually see that in kerala that you know they actively a lot of these parents who were born in the 50s to the 70s part you know who are now you know basically our generation ka parents hmm. they actively try to <clears throat> not teach their kids about certain things they actively try to dissuade them from learning malayalam in many ways for example mm. a lot of my uh, batchmates uh, college mates i think they don't know how to read and write malayalam mm. they only know how to speak malayalam because in colleges in schools that they, they, they you you use you, you has to you used to have a system where you used to get fined for knowing for speaking in malayalam yeah that is the trend in across the yeah, country yeah but this happened 10 20 years ago this is i'm talking about late 2000s yeah, yeah. so that thing you alienated from your own culture in many ways you alienated from your own religion in many ways you don't know what gayatri mantra is you don't know what the vedas are you don't know what religion is you do so that element of dissociation once you are dissociated from your culture in many ways mm-hmm. and you are aping you know some uh, mix and match of you know some onam some vishu you know some christmas some halloween all of this has become a mix for hindu kids right you're not being taught what religion is what culture is education what, is a big problem there yeah it, it you you not hindu you don't education. you don't have any connection to the culture so if you don't have any connection to the culture you don't have any connection to the gods you don't know what who swami ayappa is you don't understand you don't understand the gravity of these issues right and then it just becomes an issue of oh why are women allowed there why is swami ayappa so important so mm. if you if you're not grounded in The, the culture. culture. If you're not rooted, if you don't understand what Onam is, if you don't who understand who Vamana is, you don't understand who Mahabali is, if you don't understand who Sri Krishna is during Vishu, all of these become just you know celebrations of random culture. Mm. You you see it's just a day to wish. It's just a day it to just dress just up in mundu and sari and it take just, great photos. Right. Yeah. It just it it just a uh, Instagram. It's an Instagram, Instagram moment. Instagram real moment. Yeah, that mm. is it. So I mean that that problem exists. I mean that that we I had, think that's a we have we had spoken about this thing just some time ago with respect I, to the lack a, of education, uh, yeah. which is the most important problem. Lack of proper value. I mean Hindu value education, which is not at all existing. Mm. If it is not there, how will people? How will the kids understand what it is? so is it all we will talk we had talked about all the negatives are there any positives that you guys see in kerala i think there are Positive especially trends. after shabrimala so shabrimala is very important in one way because everybody is gone to shabrimala right every hindu regardless of your communist regardless of your congress wala you bjp wala it doesn't matter you've gone to shabrimala once in your life i don't know if the obviously the core party people might not have party members might not have but my, even uh, i know of party members who have gone to shabrimala right 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 my so, grandfather used to be a very yeah. hardcore communist party member but they gone like, to shabrimala he, yeah. he was office bearer right mm. so he has gone to shabrimala shabrimala so, is it's the it's, it's the most secular uh, secular <laughs> god right i will tell you that it's very interesting the right word sahi pakda aapne shabrimala kyu secular hai bhagwan ayappa ka dost tha wo ek मुसलमान था वावर स्वामी तो वावर इज मुस्लिम तो हम शबरीमला जाने के पहले कहा जाता है वावर मस्जिद में जाता है वावर मस्जिद में जाके इज इट ट्रू या या ट्रू घूमता है घूमता है ना वावर मस्जिद में जाता है तो शबरीमला स्वामी ये पेन इज द गॉड ऑफ केरला बिकॉज ही सेक्युलर Hmm. He is the most secular god. I mean, he is the only secular god in India. I mean, in the in the, in the, the double quotes secular uh, meaning from which which has evolved in Kerala. That's so, I mean, why it's uh, so popular across the party. No, lines. no, that I would <laughs> not say that. No, 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 no. Still, still, still popular uh, because it also allows them to see justify yeah, yeah, it yeah, somehow. Yeah, that, that is that. That yeah, see, he was secular and this gels well with our uh, yeah. current identity. Yes, but the thing is those. Uh, the the 
പവർ ഓഫ് സ്വാമി അയ്യപ്പ ദി ഡിവോഷൻ ബിഹൈൻഡ് സ്വാമി അയ്യപ്പ ഇസ് വെരി ഏൻഷ്യൻറ്റ് there is no doubt about it it's very of course ancient it is. but i am saying that huh. whatever they are the current ah, woke yes, generation yes. Yeah. they are somehow trying to connect it with the other angle also not woke i wouldn't say woke would say you know they would never they would have never seen shabrimala they would say let women enter complete rejection huh. whatever but the party obviously whatever element you said that is there it's mm. considered a secular art that is very important that's a very good angle actually mm. but what i was trying to say is that shabrimala is very important because everybody is gone there mm. right it's not considered a god of uh, it, it it's a very uh, what i don't know if the words correct subaltern sort of god right mm-hmm. it the that has a very deep primitive association i have i have heard from a party person that it is shabrimala swami even is the only communist god that exist no i have heard that uh, this from even hindu people that uh, shri krishna was the first communist yeah that is also there yeah, yeah. the communist party has a huge element yeah. of hindu mythology co-option ah. that is very fun to talk about okay. uh, but what i was trying to say is uh, the positive trends right about shabrimala when shabrimala happened it the what the party tried to say right what the party tried to portray was so fundamentally flawed that so many po- people saw through it the party saw through it every single element of the party saw through it but because penarai is become so powerful at that point in 2019 times uh, nobody wanted to raise a voice against it because the party is you know whatever the party says is true mm. okay then uh, you can actually see the element of how this is affected because right so you have these opinion polls right so just before the 2019 election there was an opinion poll about shabrimala mm. and i think a certain amount i think 80% of the uh, hindus or 75% of the hindus said this is wrong but after the elections two years later just before the assembly elections they did another survey and by that time i think the number rose to around 80 85% okay I, I, among which 90% is um, hindu Mal- Mal- malayali hindu women saying women should not enter mm. okay so this number actually rose in the past two years you know oh. why it rose mm. because because the party said that women should enter or the judgment should be implemented a lot of party people even though they privately disagreed with it very vehemently so publicly they said women should enter power of narrative power of narrative mm. power of party power of party so what happened what i'm trying to say when we say party it is communist party yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so the positive thing that i'm trying to say is that yeah so it, it awakened a lot of passion among a lot of hindus right regardless of and this i think have awakened among some amount of youth as well irava youth as well that this is going fundamentally against our it's a persecution of our religion that element has stayed right and that element has resulted i think in a lot of low level independent organization by a lot of people hmm. to support not the sang per se but to support the shabrimala issue when the whatever organization that existed at that point those networks continue to exist and that has resulted in a lot of uh, other movements uh, for example i've seen in the past uh, couple of years more active participation in temples more active participation in festivals and there's a more active recognition of certain threats that are playing out for example another threat element of threat that's coming to the hindu community now is the trying attempt to ban temple elephants Mm. Now yeah so especially <clears throat> during the Trishur Puram and stuff that was completely uh, you know active uh, uh, you know these people who are we call it anakambam which is basically a devotion or attraction to elephants these mm. people came together and they've actively trying to fight on the issue and ensure that temple elephants are not banned mm. similarly they've tried uh, See, there's I been just, a movement uh, against uh, like, like let him finish uh, element against uh, movement against uh, banning of trying to ban fireworks Oh. right so uh, same diwali thing ha uh, not diwali it's a very different issue but there is no diwali in uh, kerala there mm. is but we don't celebrate it in the same way uh, yeah, it's like uh, another photography movement okay uh, sort of uh, but so what i was trying to say is the movement against temple festivals temple processions mm. the elements around temple has i think has strengthened right that that was a positive trend there and another positive trend that i see is that a lot of um, Uh, youth right once they get out of the state and they experience how life is in an urban environment like bangalore mm. delhi or bombay and they and they become acutely aware of the fact that kerala is so much far behind what they appear to be kerala what whatever kerala's ability to provide or kerala's ability to provide employment to the youth kerala's ability to provide a ease of living as we call it right that is not there mm. right that sort of 
ticks off in your head and you're like okay you know there are things that are going right in this country and this the sort of and radical what is happening in kerala is not right yeah what is happening in kerala is not right it kerala is, is kerala is not industrialized kerala doesn't have opportunities exactly. for it's, youth it's, it's not the, it's not it's not about the cultural degeneracy we are saying mm. there's a lot of other degeneracy economic degeneracy is a big thing i mean so any yeah we talk we can talk about that but positive i want some positive yeah, from so you yeah so i what another element of a positive thing is that what i talked about onam right a lot of kids you can take it two ways one one is that a lot of kids are now doing it you know for just for the sake of instagram social media but i also see a lot of people being aware trying to get aware of the fact that this thing has religious roots this thing has uh, elements of you know uh, what do you say a rural life that has been lost to us that that sort of elements have crept up again the mm. traditionalistic aspect of aesthetics i think has revived and another positive trend uh, is that even among uh, the communist party uh, this is a political trend but even among the communist party among the congress a lot of hindu issues have become untouchable because the moment you touch it the sang will get strengthened so they decide not to touch it i i don't know if you can consider it a positive or negative but i view it as a positive because certain things have become Uh, untouchable you cannot play the sort of politics that you played uh, for a long time against the hindus because the sang is because you are actively afraid of the fact that the bjp will get strengthened so you have to cater to at least the minimum viable demand of the hindu communities hmm. right that minimum this thing you have to cater to and i think there's a lot of positive movement in the culture of fear even though it's slow even though it's very uh, stagnant for a long time there's a lot of cultural movement among authors among uh, what do you say uh, poets mm. among artists to a more to the sang to the I wouldn't say to the sang to a more traditionalistic viewpoint hmm. so, so, so basically the, the road to trad trads goes through raita ha <laughs> so so the biggest positive that i always have felt with respect to kerala कुछ भी बोलो जो भी बोलो केरला में एक एक तो चीज़ है कुछ मतलब कोई भी कुछ भी बोल दो केरला का लोग एट द एंड ऑफ द डे विल से दैट जो आई एम पार्ट ऑफ दिस बिग कंट्री नॉर्स इंडिया यू कैन नॉट टेक द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ एन इंडियन फ्रॉम अ मलयाली या दैट्स द नेशनलिस्टिक प्राइड ऑफ अ मलयाली इज मच 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 मोर दैन मैनी अदर स्टेट्स लाइक केरला में कुछ मतलब मेरा भारत बोलने में मतलब देखो केरला में यू विल फाइंड मोर पीपल स्पीकिंग हिंदी दैन इन एनी वेयर इन द कंट्री आई मीन स्पेशली इन द साउथ जो 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 गांव गांव में गली गली में बात करके मतलब एक दो हिंदी शब्द यूज किया तो भी बोलेगा कि हिंदी में कुछ तो रिप्लाई मिलेगा थोड़ा थोड़ा तो, मुझे भी मालूम है मतलब ऐसा ऐसा नहीं है कि मतलब हिंदी हिंदी में बात करने के लिए मुश्किल है हिंदी इम्पोजिशन का उतना हिंदी इम्पोजिशन का उतना बात तो केरला में चलता ही नहीं तो सब लोग हिंदी में सीखते हैं पढ़ते हैं सब तो चलते रहता है तो जो जो नेशनलिस्टिक एलिमेंट है जो केरला व्हेन इट कम्स टू व्हेन इट इज़ अ वेरी बैड मिसकंसेप्शन ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल दैट केरला थिंग्स अदरवाइज नो केरला में लोग एक्चुअली बिलीव्स इन नॉट लाइक राहुल गांधी आइडिया ऑफ यूनियन ऑफ स्टेट्स दे बिलीव इन इंडिया दे बिलीव इन दे बिलीव इन द कंट्री दे बिलीव इन इंडिया एंड दैट इज द बिगेस्ट पॉजिटिव अबाउट द स्टेट वाट यू से अबाउट ऑल दिस कल्चरल थिंग्स एंड स्टफ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे if there something happens kerala will be the first i mean there are rogue elements but rogue element elements are there across the country but the majority of the kerala population will stand together and say we are indians first and everything second religion across religions across religions as i just want to quote a line of vallathol i believe bharatham ennu kettal abhimana pooritham vaangana andarangam kerala ennu kettal tilakkanam chora nerambugal it translates to if if i hear about bharat then i should you know be proud and be proud from the inside hmm. like it should come from the inside it's if i hear about kerala then my blood should boil burn. in the idea that there is no two right there it's is no one. i mean people compare pre- kerala pre- to kashmir and that's not true because that's not true kerala and kerala will never be kashmir yeah i will i write it down yeah, that i also agree kerala, kerala will, will never be kashmir, be kashmir. It's see there of, if 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 a problem of section sectionism अगर कुछ कोई विभाजनकारी बात केरला में हुआ तो पहले उसको थप्पड़ मार के बाहर निकलेगा केरला वाले लोग वो तो लिख के देगा मैं केरला बिल्ने वास्ट फॉर आई मीन आई आई है 
even after saying all these things about kerala it, that is the biggest don't you see it. some uh, trifurcation of the state or bifurcation, bifurcation of the state bifurcation might be any uh, i mean when state de- state divide and demand of i don't know i mean it might that happen is a different issue. but different that issue, will de facto become say north kerala uh, will de facto become a no, no. muslim majority right I mean, even if it becomes if muslim it's a separate state that that they may not have to ask for a different uh, this thing country country but uh, different state where de facto majority population is muslim so that becomes a they would never ask for that they because if you ask. think from their perspective they'll control they'll controlling the whole state anyway <laughs> i'm just saying on that positive note i think <laughs> we have spoken enough <laughs> yeah we should conclude swami uh, sharma <laughs> swami sharma ye pa Thank you Ravi and uh, Anant uh, it was wonderful conversation aur mujhe lagta hai ki bahut logo ko kafi kuch uh, Kerala ke bare mein pata chala uh, halanki kafi kuch negative tha but at the end kuch positive trends bhi uh, Anant ne highlight kiye uh, Ravi Anant thank you so much thank you thank, thank you. you so much